How's it going everyone? This is Sean here from Scale Mall Car Guy channel. And today's video is going to be Old Tom's appreciation build, uh, group build. It'll be his update. But before I show you what I've gotten done, thank you, my subscriber. If it wasn't for you, this little redneck from Arkansas would not have a channel. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever makes your world go around, guys. Subscribing is free. Free, 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 free. I'll never ask you for a thing. All right, guys. And uh, always in my videos, if I mention somebody that's got a YouTube channel in this video or any of my videos, there will always be a link in the description below to their channel. So always go check them out support everybody in our community they're awesome this is a great little community we have well i say little big community we have speaking of craig mutt modeler his 48 hour group build just finished up and uh guys i don't ever get in on it because man it seems like it's always my weekend to work i work every other weekend it seems like every time craig has this every year never fails is my weekend to work so with that being said that's the reason why you haven't seen me do it but uh and two there's so many people doing that i'm so far behind on videos right now i mean my notifications were just bing 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 and there's no way in heck i could catch up right now i'm still trying i'll try guys i will try if you don't hear from me say hey I got a video up. Go check it out. I'll, I'll try to get right there and go check it out, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But, you know, it is what it is. Man works all the time. It's hard to 12-hour days, you know, rotating shifts. It's it's hard to keep up sometimes. My apologies, but I will try. And I always do try. All right, guys. With that being said, this video is about our old friend, my old friend tom rambler 69 that sucker he always he helps me all the time texts me all the time we go back and forth uh i love the guy uh one of these days i'll get down there to jack's con or acme or something like that but it's not in the cards right now guys uh especially like acme i was wanting to go and in reality set in you know my granddaughter's birthdays or in august and I have to make a big trip up to New York, which is coming up, and I'm going to be gone up there. And uh, so, money-wise, realistically, I just can't. I can't do that and then travel down to to uh, Florida or Atlanta, wherever it is. I can Atlanta for uh, for that. And don't get me wrong, I want to. And y'all know I did a video with my big eight-scale Jaguar still sitting right here in the box in the floor justin from j Hart models has made me some awesome i will get that car done it will get done it will be a le mans car you know there's the theme was 100 years of le mans well oh i can't do it guys i wish i could but i can't do it so but that car will get done and uh i will show it at contests and stuff wherever i go once i get it done if it's worthy of it <laughs> you know me in contest i mean i'm not the best contest builder i just build for myself and it might not be the shiniest or whatever but you know it's presentable i try to and uh as far as the porsche group build it's done other than i will show it once i get the weathering done on the car y'all know the porsche had some uh some uh bad paint reaction and stuff and i just said screw it it already got bad uh fit issues i'm gonna build it anyway i'm not gonna let it win i'm not stripping i'm not doing nothing it's just gonna get built it's gonna be a weathered well-raced endurance car <laughs> so with that being said that video will be coming up soon but uh like i said uh, it's done other than i got to get some weathering done on it um let's see trying to think if there's anything else i would have jumped in that hay autos but uh man there's so many good group builds i can't i can't possibly get into all of these i i barely have time as it is 
but uh, I dang sure is going to get old Tom's done. And uh, so that'll be, you know, that. And then, too, you know, and I, I've showed y'all guys this. I've got to get on this, get started on this one here after uh, Tom's group build. My son got me this uh, for my birthday. And uh, my oldest son, and I'd really like to, really like to get that built. And uh, so, right now, I just ain't had time for a lot of group builds, but uh, the ones I have, I've liked them. I've, you know, I've, I, the last group build I did was the uh, Blue Ox Street Machine. Right here, it's the Joe Hand 7442. I did a street machine, uh, so, all right, well, y'all know what I'm doing here, y'all, I've done told y'all, let me get the box, try not to make this too dang long, all right, y'all know that I'm doing this one right here, this is the, uh, customizing series, uh, 1949 Mercury, and, uh, let's see, this, this was from, like, the... 87 1987 and uh it won't look like that it's dang sure gonna be a sled and uh i've cut the top off of it lowered the chopped the top right here and it's gonna have the carson top from the uh was it the uh, 50 model uh ford and uh it's gonna have the skirts on it. I'm gonna have a custom grill, nothing in from the box here. Uh, custom hubcaps from Period Correct Hubcaps. Uh, yeah, it'll look pretty decent when I get done with it. Uh, and uh, it's probably gonna be Inca Gold. I know Tom and me, we go back and forth on that Inca Gold. We sure do like that stuff, and uh, Tom got me hooked on it. And, I sure do love it. Uh, I'll have to go get some. Don't have none, but I'm doing body work right now anyway. So I'm going to shut my mouth, turn it around, and show you what I got going on. Well, here we are at the bench. Let me show you what I've got going on. All right, I got her in the mock-up stage right now. The uh, headlights have been, uh, what do you call that, Frenched. Uh, the... This right here is more squared than round. You can see that right there. I got a certain grill going in this. I just wanted a certain look for it. No bumpers, of course. It's got the roll pan. The back's totally smoothed out. I haven't figured out my tail lights yet, what I want to do. As far as tail lights, I don't know what I'm going to use yet. I don't know if I'm going to use like a... Oh, the kit comes with these... I don't know what they are, Cadillac lights, whatever they are, I'm not for sure, but these bullet looking lights, I don't know to cut them off, use those, I don't know what I'm going to do so far, but as you can see, the top is chopped, and here is a, uh, what is this, Mercury Woody, the Mod Squad Woody, if you look at this Mercury, and you can see the difference in the chop, the top, what I did was cut it off, laid it down farther. Uh, this Carson top, and I got it taped in there. You can see right there. The Carson top is from the uh, 49 Ford, the original issue, and maybe the 70s issue, somewhere around in there before they deleted it out. Uh, of course, this is just set on here. The trunk will open, of course. The kit, kit comes with the skirts, but... Uh, this is what she's looking like right now. Then I, let's see what I got here. I got a couple of the, I made a couple of little visors to go, you know, on the inside there, sun visors for it. Not that, you know, the top's gonna be glued on it anyway. Once I get done, I'm gluing the top on it. Well, it ain't coming off, so. But yeah, no door handles, no emblems whatsoever. Only em we got the chrome strip that'll go right here. That's the only thing I'm going to keep on the car. I don't know if I'm going to go with lake pipes or not. I really don't know. I'll probably just have the pipes just come out the back. Uh, probably try I'm just trying to keep it as minimal as possible, probably just a smooth, clean, custom. Uh, 
you know the the, the hood it's, it'll still open here see the hood will still open uh hood and trunk i rescribed the door lines uh had to rescribe the door lines but yeah she's gonna be she's gonna be mean i think i'm going with these hubcaps i'm not for sure here's everything got a focus here uh of course the hubcaps just stuck on there it's not glued but the big whites like that i don't know if you're gonna see but you know just a steel wheel i'll paint the wheel i don't know if it'll be the color of the car or what but here's the hubcap uh don't know i got so many old old vintage custom hubcaps i don't know if i'm gonna go with those or i'll find something out of my parts pack or or my stash ads or whatever you know i got so much crap uh so if i don't go with those hubcaps i, I don't know but either way it's only gonna be two hubcaps because the back's gonna be so low there's no sense of putting a hubcap on it because all you're gonna see is this much of the the wheel right here it's gonna be a tail dragger so no hubcaps on the back you ain't gonna see them but it will have the hubcaps on the front and i don't know if the spare tire when i put the spare tire in here like this i don't know if i'll put a hubcap on it or not i don't know yet if i do i'll put a same kind of hubcap with it if not i don't know we'll see but i do plan on uh doing like the trophy with it and the uh the rope around it and you know the little stands you know an old display and here is a old uh custom parts pack grill set right here from the 60s this is original uh i don't know if it has a date on it or not i'm not seeing a date but it, you know it's it's from the 60s guys trust me uh and then here here are some grills and stuff. Well, what I'm going to do is we're going with this grill right here. I don't know if you can see very good or not. We're going to go with this grill. And it's going to have these right here, these little things to go like this, slotted. They're going to go in there like that. Tell me what you think about that, guys. That's kind of where I'm going with it. And this is a cool grill set, man. You got Etzel grills in it. You got, you got all kinds of cool little grill grill sets and stuff with it but uh but yeah i think that's the grill i'm gonna go with i think the hubcaps is what i'm gonna go with it's gonna be inky gold with the white carson top and either white and inky gold interior with the white fuzzy carpet and stuff or it's gonna be a different contrast like say maybe white with red maybe red wheels and a red engine with that ink of gold i don't know i'm gonna figure it out but uh guys uh anybody i mentioned in this please like share and subscribe go over there and check old tom out mr rambler 69 this dude is a outstanding pillar of the community and a guy i call a good friend go check him out which i'm sure everybody's heard of him by now but if not please do all right, guys. Love you. Peace out. Bye.